Good morning, warriors. This is our morning talk. I'm doing this rather early in the morning, so before I get a chance to uh, get ready to go, we are at February 15th, 2022. So good morning, everyone. Hope you guys are going to have a great morning, and I wanted to kind of send something out before I rush off to class and uh, teaching and different types of things that I'm doing. Uh, it's a long teaching consulting day. I'll probably going to be back about uh, 7, 30, 8 o'clock, so I wanted to get this done so I get you guys contact and uh, kind of send some things out. So first of all, thank you for the comments, the subscriptions, the notices. We're getting close to 350, so I appreciate all the subscriptions on that. Comments and likes, I appreciate as well. I want to give a shout out to um, a young man who's doing some great stuff. We did a video on him, uh, a French YouTuber, uh, SC100, P-I-T-I-E. Uh, he's wonderful and uh, he's doing a lot of stuff with retention and uh, his energy uh, and really keeping energy together and things like that. And that's the kind of stuff that we need. We need a lot of younger people to kind of realize how important this is. I've ran to at least three or four people over the last few weeks who understand the importance of what we're talking about. And uh, and it's going to really affect the younger generation uh, more than somebody like my age at 60. Even though I feel very youthful and I feel very young uh, and I have a lot of energy right now, uh, someone who is 20 years old you know, has unbelievable energy. And so this is why I think that it's important to start young. I tried, but I could not keep this going, you know, for a longer period of time until now, 40 some years later. And so it's uh, it's really an amazing type of thing. But certainly um, I give SC100 a lot of credit. I think that it's great that we have a lot of younger people who are taking on the mantle for years to come and keeping this, this 1%, hopefully growing to 2%, 3%. And before you know it, 50% of the people in the world go back to this understanding of what energy is for and not for just kind of, you know, some short-term pleasure types of things that people get into all the time. And I think this is the, the whole crux of the matter, that people are sacrificing the long-term goals and betterment of, of men and women because they're basically kind of giving up their energy for what, what purpose? When you look at this, what is the overall purpose of people doing this kind of stuff? A lot of times it's not that, it's not a great deal. It's more of just short-term pleasure, which is very fleeting. And we're in a world that, that focuses a lot in um, material, short-term things. But what's important is long-term. What's important is what's inside of you, the spirit. And what is the spirit? Well, the spirit is something that dictates to you what you should be doing on a daily basis. A spirit to you is something that you can't see, but it's important because inherently it's something inside of you that is crucial in how you look at life. And we see this around the country right now. I know people out there uh, standing firm on what they believe in, and I give them all the credit in the world. Continue doing that, warriors. Uh, whether we're talking about retention or we're talking about some other types of issues in the political or health realms, all of these are important types of things to stand foot to. But you have to have the courage and the confidence to do that and to take the consequences. And I've taken consequences for many years on different types of things because you know down deep your spirit is strong. And the spirit is strong. That's what matters. You need a strong spirit to continue moving forward in your journey. The weak spirits are not going to get it. You've got to be strong to your commitment and strong to what you're doing. And the stronger you are, the better off you're going to be in the long run. You may get knocked down. You may get knocked down like I have several times over the years. But you keep fighting back. It's not, it's not a matter of um, getting knocked down. We all get knocked down. But do you get back up again? And do you keep getting back up, right? Those type of things. I had inspiration from one of my cats a long time ago. Lived 20 some years. All kinds of illnesses. But he kept fighting and fighting. He finally just died in his sleep. But he kept fighting until the end. And he would not give up. And that, that cat in that form, that spirit was a warrior spirit. 
There is no doubt in my mind. And that's the kind of spirit we all must have. We must have that spirit like my friend in France, SC100, P-I-T-I-E. That guy, that guy has tremendous spirit. You can tell. You can tell and look in the eyes. You can tell in, in, the, in the voice, right? It doesn't matter if you speak the language or not. You can tell in a person's voice, in their intensity, those type of things of who they are. And it goes back to the spirit. It goes back to having inside of you something that drives you to be the best that you can be and to not follow like sheep into one thing or another. Just be tempted because the material values things. Just to give away your soul because of money or because of power or because of status. All that, my friends, is fleeting. Is fleeting. It goes. A snap of a finger, it's gone. I don't care how much money you make. That could be all gone in a minute. But in the meantime, you may have sold your soul out. And that can't be replaced. That is very difficult. You just got to look at the example of imaging and pornography. When you look at this, right? People get desensitized. This is what uh, Jesus said when he talked about harden the heart. When he talked to Moses he said about this in the uh, Old Testament. Pharaoh hardened his heart. He became desensitized. He didn't care about the people. He didn't care about God. He just forgot about it all. And this is what happened to the t cities of Sodom and Gomorrah, Babylon, the Roman Empire, Incas, Mayas, all these and you see this in the United States now happening as well. There's people who have just given up on God. And God, even though he tries and tries and tries to bring people back into his flock, they just refuse to. And eventually he has no choice. And that's why you see cities being torn apart and people get torn apart. But you have to stay in the spirit. And you have to stay in the spirit with this retention. And people like SC100 and other people around, especially the younger generation, need to keep that mantle going. Keep that idea going. That you're going to continue to be strong. And you're going to continue to have this strong energy and using it for positive reasons, not negative. Using it to continue to achieve things. And to help mankind, help men, help women be the best that they can be. And treat women the right way. Treat men the right way. Be someone who's a leader, someone who is, is on top, not someone who can't handle situations. And they get nervous and frightened because they've been losing energy four or five times a day. Those things are unacceptable in this movement. Now, I know I've done that. I did that for years, so it's unacceptable. You cannot do that and become the kind of strong leader and have all the benefits that you want to. And, and I wish I would have followed that Fountain of Youth book a lot more carefully and write, and write number six all these years. But now I feel unbelievable, unbelievable power, unbelievable that nothing can deter me. And eventually I will fulfill God's mission of why I'm on this earth. And I think that the whole thing about the spirit is to understand that we have one. People want to deny it. People want to say, oh, poo poo, I, don't, I can't see it. So if I can't see it, it's not real. Well, that's so far from the truth, it's unbelievable. In fact, there's more things you can't see in the world than you can see. But people believe their eyes, and this is why they get caught and brainwashed into a lot of temptation about retention and things like that. They don't. They, they think that people are telling them the truth, when in fact they're trying to sell something to them, conform to them, get rid of them, whatever you want, whatever, whatever you want, to, whatever they want to do. They basically want you to do something for their own nefarious reasons. And they could be political, they could be economic, whatever it might be. So people are trying to convince you to buy things. So you have to be a, you have to discern the truth. And you can't just listen to people who tell you this on the internet or show you pictures or TV. You have to go out and research and understand what's really happening around us. And that's the key. So again, the spirit is the key thing to keep strong. Keep your spirit strong no matter what's happening. Do not let Satan and doubt and uh, depression get into yourself. Do not allow that to happen. Be strong as a warrior. And that's what the spirit is. It doesn't have a lot to do with you physically. 
you can look a certain way. Though with retention, people look stronger and stronger, no matter what age they are. It comes down to the spirit. How strong is that fight inside of you, right? I'm like my cat at 21 years old, fighting till the end. That was a, that's a warrior right there. That's a warrior. And that's all, we all can do that individually. Stand up for what you believe in. Don't back down, don't be a sheep. The sheep are the ones who will keep losing energy and not thinking twice about it because they think this is the way it goes. Though when you talk to people, they realize that losing energy just destroys you. You're on a path of self-destruction and you need to stay away from that. So I'm so happy to be able to connect with people and I, I the great words SC had for me is unbelievable. Respect out to you, my friend. Continue, continue with your battle as most of you are continuing. Continue to make a difference because you cannot ever give up the fight that we're doing here. And yes, we may have a setback here and there. We may lose a, a battle here and there. But in the long run, you have to defeat Satan, all the evil, temptation, spirits that are out there. Because if there's spirits like us who are trying to do good things, there's certainly spirits out there who are trying to do bad things. So I'm not one to judge the person, but the spirit, that's a whole other thing. And there's spirits and people that make them do things, and they follow them. So be strong. Don't let those birds flying over your head put a nest in your head and be able to change your mind about things and all of a sudden do things you know are wrong. And this is why people get themselves in a lot of trouble because of that. And so that's why we talk about the whole idea of the spirit. So today, <clears throat> February 15, 2022, as each one of you are going out there, just consider keeping your spirit strong. Do not let other people make you angry. Do not let other people kind of put you down. Live your life as a warrior. Live your life as someone who will battle to the end and never give up. I don't care if you have one tooth left. I don't care if you have one hand left. You keep battling. That's what the warrior spirit does. And that's what you end up having. And if you're someone like myself with kids, you try to pass that on to your kids so they have the spirit. Your grandkids, you pass it on to your grandkids. Never give up. Always reminds me of my friend in Japan, 98 years old. 98, my friends. And he's still building hotels. There are people who are over 100 now who keep working and doing things. And you know one of the things that's interesting about people who live over 100? Commonalities, common traits. <clears throat> They have goals, they have a purpose. They're on a purpose. And the longer you're on your purpose, the better chance you're gonna be successful and live a long life. Of course, you never know, God may take us any day. But the thing is, your odds are much better keeping yourself in great shape, keeping yourself mentally, physically, and spiritually strong in the Lord, and of course, keeping her strong with retention and keeping that energy inside of you. All right, my friends, have a wonderful day. Battle on and keep that spirit strong every second of the day. God bless you. Battle on.